Viruses like influenza and coronavirus are all over the news these days. So now is a good time to remind everyone antibiotics is something you should only use to treat bacterial infections, not viral ones. Yeah, so why talk about them now? Well, there are two problems here. One is that a lot of people out there don't know that antibiotics don't work on viral infections. They're not supposed to. The other problem is that when people do get sick, it's not always easy to tell what type of infection you have, viral or bacterial. And so the temptation to just play it safe is causing its own problems. There's a lot of myths out there. So example for norovirus, people will still get antibiotics. People will get antibiotics to think that, oh, we can treat this just in case this is a bacterial issue, even though we may know it's norovirus. Dr. Ulysses Wu of St. Francis Hospital said many patients don't like the idea of just letting their body fight off an infection naturally without medicine. And he said, Many doctors have been all too willing to make them happy. Another thing is the pressures on healthcare. We don't have time. So we can't sit here and explain if we have to see a patient every five to 10 to 15 minutes why you don't need this antibiotic and why it's actually potentially dangerous. It's dangerous because the more bacteria see these antibiotics, the more chances they have to evolve new defenses against them, which in turn means newer antibiotics need to be developed. But Dr. Wu said, that's where we run into another problem. Unfortunately, drug manufacturers are not really making drugs anymore because why would you make a drug that you take for only one week when you can make another drug like a high cholesterol drug that you take for life? Dr. Wu said going forward, both doctors and patients need to be more judicious with antibiotics. I would just say see your health care provider. Okay. But the problem with that is the health care providers are also some of the worst at prescribing these antibiotics as well. But uh, with enough education, we are hoping that it is swinging back the other way. Yes, and uh, Dr. Wu also said there's sort of a growing body of evidence that outside of possibly creating superbugs, antibiotic use just on its own in children, mm -hmm. repeated use is starting to get linked to a whole host of problems that you can have down the road, everything from diabetes to a number of different health problems. And it happens often. You know, I've taken the kids to urgent care, and it takes a few days to get those test results back. And yeah. they say, well, here's a script that you can start taking anyways. But I've held off just because, you know, I know what it does in the long term right. if you take the antibiotics and you don't have a uh, bacterial infection. You could have it doesn't a do anything. Yes. Yeah. It's understandable. It's not like there's and a And you big want conspiracy. to take it anyways because it's in a way it sort of makes you feel good because <laughs> yes. this is something that I can do. Right. But don't bother doing it if it actually does nothing. If it does nothing, right. It's just the placebo yeah. effect right there.